It is one week until Christmas, and what better way to celebrate than soaking in all the shimmering lights sprinkled across East Tennessee. And our live anchor Katie Inman is in the Cove at Concord Park in West Knoxville with how you can feel festive with the family and give some last minute lists to Santa. And we're going to join Katie now, who is not sad, but maybe a little teary eyed right now, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've had to wipe my eyes so many times uh, just because the wind is blowing in my eyes and I'm my eyes are watering. I promise I'm not crying, but it is very cold. So whenever you step outside, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. And full transparency here, if you're at home watching and you're like, man, the background that Katie's standing in has just looked so much the same these last few times we've come to her. Uh, yeah, we haven't moved around a lot because Honestly, every time that we go away from us, me and my videographer, David, uh, we get in the car to warm up. So that's full transparency there. But we are here in West Knox County at the Covet Concord Park. We're here at the entrance for the Holiday Festival of Lights every night through the whole month of December, except for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and New Year's Day. You can come and enjoy these beautiful lights that they have on display here. We're showing you some video from uh, the lights at night. They are easier to see at night, of course. And from six to nine, it's completely free for you and the family to come out here to see those lights. Thousands of twinkling lights that the Knox County Parks and Recreation Department has spent hours putting up for this season. Uh, there's also some other things that you and the family can enjoy too. They've got a Santa's workshop. You can send those last minute letters to Santa. Make sure you're on that nice list. Tell them everything that you want because Christmas is one week away. And also they've got some really cool modes of transportation here too. They've got the Knox County Parks and Recreation uh, Express. It looks like a train that's a trailer. Then they've also got a trailer that looks like a radio flyer uh, wagon that that uh, families and kids can ride into. So there's tons of activities to do, not just looking at the lights.